as they call master level three service. We begin by removing the magazine and we remove the lower screw and simply remove the magazine away. We remove the cover. So apply light pressure down on top of the cover as it's under spring tension. Remove two screws and gently allow the housing to come up under the spring tension and remove the spring. During the rest of the procedure, pay particular care to not damage the magnet. Open the fuel door and using a screwdriver, remove the grill. Remove the filter, inspect for any damage. No damage, clean the filter. In this particular case, we replace the filter because there is damage. Remove the four cap screws. And remove the cap. Turn the tool back over and remove the top handle screw that retains the motor housing to the handle. And gently pull back and very gently slide the motor assembly away so as not to damage the fan. So the next step in the level three service is to strip the motor housing assembly. We begin by removing the retaining O-ring from the depth of drive adjuster. and unscrew the depth of drive wheel in an anti-clockwise direction to remove the probe. Note that the depth of drive wheel recess faces the bottom of the shaft. Remove the four nose screws. Now gently raise the nose up and turn to clear the yoke shaft and simply pull away. Using a probe, remove the O-ring, remove the bumper, push down on the sleeve and raise the housing. Just lever the yoke shaft across a bit and the housing's removed. Now remove the yoke. Undo the two screws. Simply pull the yoke away from the tool and remove the spring. Slide the combustion chamber from the sleeve and we have our two parts. Using the circuit pliers, remove the piston retaining ring and just push the piston through and remove the piston rings from the piston. With our reed valve assembly, remove the four screws Remove the muffler cover, reed valve, muffler, reed valve plate and o-ring and the baffle. Remove the two sealing rings on the sleeve. And that's our sleeve. Combustion chamber, gently release from the tabs. And pull away. Remove the four screws from the combustion chamber ring and chamber itself. Split the ring from the chamber and remove the O-ring. The final bit of disassembly is to remove the feed piston from the housing. This is done by removing the two pins. Push down on the piston, remove the feed pole and push the piston out of the housing. Remove the O-ring from the piston 
and remove the O-ring from the top of the housing. It's not necessary unless there's damage to the springs to disassemble any further. Check the spring tension on the lock, check the spring tension on the tensioner and the gate spring tension. So what we're going to do now is we're going to clean the tool. We've got our gloves on, we've got our safety goggles on and we're in a well ventilated area. So we start with the handle. We're going to pay particular attention around the electrode and spark plug, make sure all the carbon deposits and oil are removed from the cylinder head. So give it a good liberal spray to begin with. And use a brush to remove any stubborn particles. Now what I like to do is using my fingers is to rotate the rings and this removes any carbon deposits that are built up in the ring lands. We can wipe it off with a rag, let it air dry, or we can use low pressure compressed air, but don't allow the fan to spin using compressed air. Okay, so we've stripped our tool and it's time to clean. I like to go through, give everything a good rinse down and then come back and give it a scrub with a brush. Give it a good squirt inside and use the bottle brush to remove all those deposits and also around the ring lands as well. Ensure that you clean all the components of the tool. All the deposits in the housing should be removed. Yeah. So we've washed and cleaned everything and we've done an inspection on the parts. There are only two items here that we will be replacing and that's the filter and the Nomar tip. So we've laid out the parts in our service kit. All the parts here are the mandatory parts that must be replaced during a service. There's some additional retaining rings. They're in there to replace if required. So the first step we'll do is we'll assemble the nose assembly. So with that, we need the two O-rings. So using the PAS loaded impulse oil, which is fine on these O-rings. Just add a bit of lubricant. Roll the piston O-ring on. More lubricant for the shaft O-ring. Okay, to make it easy to install the O-ring in the housing, put my finger up through the piston bore, squeeze the O-ring, push it into the groove and just drop it in. Place three drops of oil into the bore and distribute it evenly with the brush. With the piston, the beveled edge faces the nose and with the ball, the curved edge goes to the top. So put the piston in, position the ball and slide it on. Next, turn it over, and now we will install the roll pins. Install the roll pin so it's even on both sides. So that's our nose, ready to go onto the motor assembly. So we'll assemble our sleeve assembly. We'll begin with placing the baffle in. O-ring, reed valve plate with top facing up, reed valve, place our muffler into the muffler cover, install on top and install the four screws and torque by hand. Now install the rings onto the sleeve.
We apply six drops of oil to the rings and rotate by hand to distribute the oil evenly. Align the rings at 180 degrees opposed. Next, we fit the rings to the piston. Lubricate, again, six drops of oil and set the gaps at 180 degrees opposed. Before we install the piston assembly, apply six drops of oil into the sleeve and distribute the oil evenly. Next, we install the piston so we have our ring gaps at 180 degrees. Line them up horizontal to the sleeve and install the piston. Install the retaining ring. Make sure that it's fitted firmly. After installing the circlip, extend the piston and apply another six drops of oil to the bore. Distribute the oil evenly and retract the piston. Next, we move on to the combustion chamber. So we install the O-ring into the combustion chamber ring. Align the short tangs of the combustion chamber ring with the lockout. During installation, refer to the schematic for screws that require Loctite and apply sparingly. And secure with the four screws. You'll note that I do not use an impact driver when assembling, as this can cause damage to the threads. Final torque by hand. With the thin side of the air dam, align it with the short tangs on the combustion chamber of the ring and carefully install the air dam. Ensure the air dam sits snugly in all grooves. Make the combustion chamber with the sleeve using the spring housing as a guide. Gently guide the rings on and slide down. Installing the yoke assembly, fit the spring onto the tang and slide into the housing. And secure with the screws. Install the port O-ring. Install the bumper with one slot aligned at the port O-ring and the second slot opposite the yoke. Note at this stage, that the yoke assembly may come off the stop. This will be rectified when we install the housing assembly. Install the housing assembly with the slot aligned to the yoke. Note the gap at the top, which is indicating that we've slipped off the stop. Extend the piston, pulling up. Retract the piston, ensuring the bumper is seated. Installing the nose, Align the guide notch over the shaft and turn and on. Install the four screws. When installing the probe, ensure that the depth of drive wheel with the recess is facing downwards. Screw the depth of drive wheel clockwise. Install the retaining ring and install the Nomar tip. Install the rings onto the cylinder head. Apply six drops of oil to the cylinder head rings. Rotate the cylinder head rings by hand to evenly distribute the oil. Finally, align the ring gaps at 180 degrees opposed. Before mating the motor assembly with the handle assembly, Move the cylinder head all the way back. Align the motor assembly with the cylinder head, being careful not to damage the fan. Bring the handle assembly up to the motor assembly so the tabs line up with the respective holes. Ensure that the tabs have engaged correctly on both sides. Secure the handle assembly to the motor assembly by installing the top screw. Install the feedback piston return spring. Align with the hole in the magnet. Push down. 
and install the screws. Ensure that the harness is positioned correctly. Before installing the back cap, ensure that the fan wire and the spark wire are fully pushed down. Install the back cap. Secure with the four screws. Install the filter and the grill. Install the magazine. Secure with the bottom screw and nut. The next we'll prepare the tool for test firing. Install the nails into the magazine cartridge and engage on the pull. Install the battery to the off position and insert the fuel. Always test fire the tool on various angles. When removing the spent tape, always pull down and across. Mm -hmm.